Hello, this is Julian with Copper Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Letty Bermudez Double Fermentation Thermal Shock Processed Geisha from Manhattan Coffee Roasters. And there's the bag right there. And if somehow you've never heard of the Letty Bermudez, uh, let me tell you a little bit about this coffee, as it is probably the most discussed coffee of 2021, one of the most discussed coffees of all time, as so many people have labeled this not just their favorite coffee of this year, but their favorite coffee of all time. Now going into this, obviously we have been raving about Manhattan as they had our favorite coffee of last year. And as of this moment, they have our favorite coffee of this year, the Fabio Leo Garcia. So the expectations between that, the fact that this is a, supposed to be a peach forward cup of coffee. Yeah, this had potential to be not just our favorite coffee of the year, but one of our favorite coffees of all time. Uh, this right here is day 30 of this coffee. We were also really lucky as we were one of the last people to get this bag of coffee. We saw on Manhattan's Instagram page that they were running a little low, so we knew one shot to get this coffee, purchased it. So I'm very happy we did and got a chance to review this. Let's talk about the recipe real quick. As we did reach out to the uh, co-founder, co-owner, and roaster Ben himself and ask for a recipe, he suggested a 16 to 1 or 16.5 to 1 water to coffee ratio at 208 to 209 degrees Fahrenheit. We used 16.5 to 1 at 208 degrees. And he suggested through the V60, we liked it better through the Chemex, but that's not a surprise as we love the Chemex. Uh, the roast profile for this coffee is a light European. And with that out of the way, let's start discussing this coffee. And given the expectation for this coffee, we were holding it to a higher standard. We basically wanted this to be perfection, so we were trying to nitpick as much as possible, truth be told. So day seven, neither the bag nor the grounds had a very strong aroma to it. The first bloom did yield a little bit of wild peachiness, as well as a slight bit of a mango anaerobic funk to it. Uh, the, as the coffee cooled down, it did explode into a super peach flavor, very intense, very impressive first impression. Still a little bit of the funk on day nine, grounds as well as the bag still lacked any sort of strong aroma, peach still ever present, as it did cool down, still exploding into what you might describe on this day as a uh, canned peaches, very syrupy sort of taste. The peach in this, can't emphasize this enough, very, very strong throughout this coffee. Day 11, funkiness to see, decreased again. Uh, peach gummy continuing to radiate throughout this coffee, super yellow fruit forward between the peach and the mango. Two different notes for the first time, we got a slight bit of a graham cracker that was only present on this day. It was both in the aroma as well as in the coffee. And then kind of this boba milk tea taste that actually continued throughout the life of this coffee. Day 13, straightforward, funkiness was completely gone at this point, essentially just a super yellow fruit forward coffee. Day 15, tried it through the B60, it wasn't quite as lively, it was still very peach forward. Um, not much to that. Uh, day 17, peach as ever, a lot more variety in the cup at this point. The coffee had become what was a super peach gummy, to kind of a nice balance between the super peach gummy super peach gummy, as well as uh, this boba milk tea taste that was really beautiful. Love both those flavors, huge fan of peach gummies, huge fan of milk tea, terrific balance. Uh, day 19, continuing, uh, coffee itself, peach gummy as ever. Slight bit more depth in this coffee, but still super heavy on the peach throughout the life of this coffee. It's been super heavy on that peach. And then day 21, something interesting happened. As we just said, you know, this coffee is still super peach gummy forward. And we're just going to stop taking notes on this coffee because we're just enjoying this coffee too much. And we're just gonna continue to enjoy it without having to worry about documenting anything or because this is one of those coffees that actually is worthy of just, you know what? Don't need to think about it. You're just gonna enjoy it. All right, let's go ahead and put up the tasting wheel so you can see what we were getting. And to no one's surprise, stone fruit level five, uh, sweetness at level five. Let me talk real quick about that peach because Typically when you think of peach and coffee, you think of maybe like a washed Fuji, you think of this kind of, there's a very distinct, noticeable peach flavor that comes from a lot of coffees, but this one is on its own. It's a very different sort of peach. I would describe it most as the Albanese peach gummy rings or back when they used to have the Albanese peach gummy bears. That's what this reminds me of the most. And it's very notable. I even purchased some of those gummies and said, this is the taste. I have it listed on here as Haribo peach. And truth be told, I think the Albanese is a bigger compliment because I think those gummies are a little bit more in line and I think they're a lot better. So wanted to note that on the stone fruit. Sweetness at level five, pretty 
nice finish, lasting finish. Pretty clean cop, cup of coffee, especially for what it is. Body kind of low, acidity pretty low. Um, for, I mean, there's not too much else in this coffee. It's pretty straightforward what you're getting from this coffee. There's two flavors, very distinct, very notable, very prominent, quite impressive, quite amazing. All right, final thoughts and impressions of this coffee. It will come as no surprise that this is our favorite coffee of the year. And even as we were trying to nitpick perfection, yeah, this coffee was as close to perfect as you can get for any sort of coffee. Given we've had a lot of other coffees from this same area, and we didn't enjoy them anywhere. We didn't even enjoy them at all, let alone enjoy them as much as we enjoyed this coffee. Huge testament to Manhattan for the amount of, for, th for the product that they put out. This is really, really impressive. And if we had to describe this coffee in one word, it's transcendence. If this is the future of coffee, if this is what anaerobic processing can do, the future of coffee is extremely bright, extremely promising. This is super impressive. This is easily our favorite coffee that we have ever reviewed on this channel. We went in with the mindset that we didn't want this to be the coffee that was the best we've reviewed throughout the entire life of the channel, but it did. And that's how amazing it is. Against all odds, it just blew us away. The only way there's going to be a coffee that can beat this this year is uh, maybe uh, uh, Letty's sister, the Luna, is going to be released sometime soon. So we're definitely going to be getting that coffee. If it's anywhere near as good as this coffee, then yeah, we're ha we have something amazing on our hands. Or maybe a Panamanian Geisha, but between those two, this coffee is probably going to win this coffee of the year. The type of person we would suggest this coffee to is, truth be told, we think everybody should try this cup of coffee because it is it's just so unique, distinct, and even somebody that isn't a huge coffee drinker, they'll be able to tell the flavors, they'll be able to pick out this peach gummy because it is so lively and so prominent and so easy to pick out that it doesn't take any sort of coffee experts to identify this. But that being said, if we're being a little bit more specific, anybody that is looking for something that is kind of the future of coffee, something that is ever present, somebody that loves peach especially, some really nice sweetness, but nothing that's like over the top that kills you with sweetness. This right here is pretty much as perfect of a cup of coffee as we could have ever expected from anyone. Unsurprising it was Manhattan though that delivered with that. All right, well, we're going to stop raving about this coffee at that. Um, we know a lot of people have tried the Letty as well. So if you've tried the Letty, um, you can go ahead and gush and let us know your thoughts and impressions of this coffee as well, because yeah, it is a truly transcendent and one of a kind coffee. Uh, if you're enjoying the content though, give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This right here has been a review of the Letty Bermudas from Manhattan Coffee Roasters. Thank you for watching.